everybody. Okay, we are here. It is time to get on with this live stream. Thank y'all. I am, what, how late am I? How late am I? I am seven minutes late. My apologies. Let me say my hellos like we always do before we get started. So here we go. All right, you guys. Uh, let's see here. Let me say my hellos. I know I had some people come in earlier. It's I told y'all five o'clock, but I did post that I was going to start at 6.15 because I was uh, Spending a little bit too much time on the phone uh, after I'd gotten everything together. So, hey, Whitney, my new channel member, one of my newest channel members, we had a couple join yesterday. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. Hi, Aisha. Well, I always want to say Aisha. Aisha B, thank you for coming back. One of my more recent callers. And thanks to people like her. Alethea doesn't have to be the first one to call every time now because she used to always get the party started for us. Hello, Alethea. Uh, and Tina Fiumara, it's good to see you back. Thank you for coming back. I'm glad that you liked it enough to come again. Oh, what she says? Um, I can't wait. Ah, uh, oh, thank you. I talked the right stuff. I'm the best ever. She's absolutely right. You always, you already get a point in the game if you stick around to the end. Thank you, Tina. Hi, Brenda. How are you doing? I'm fine. The dogs are fine. Before you even ask, um, that's what took me so long. I had to go and get them their T R E A T before we started the stream. So uh, let's see here, Chris P. How are you doing? He wants to know how everybody's doing on this wonderful Sunday evening. We're doing fine over here, and I'm sure everybody's doing fine over there. Okay, I gotta leave my notifications on, but I turned my volume down, so I'm good on my phone. I think that I have everything squared away today. I don't think I have to run up and jump, go to the car to get a gift card or anything. Okay, so I think we're good. Hey, this Sean on the track. How are you doing? Y'all, if you're looking for tracks for your YouTube channels or whatever, Deshaun on the track is the place to go. I remember today, if you have a channel, and I don't shout you out, shout yourself out because you are allowed to do that in this stream. We support each other up in here. Uh, return of the Mat, I mean, Return of the Mat, Eddie, Return of the Mat, she here. Okay, she has a channel called Girl Good Night. If you want to sleep in melanated peace, then go to her channel. She's going to read you a bedtime story and get you to sleep. She has a very soothing voice, some days a very sexy voice. So be careful. You might not fall asleep if you think that voice is too sexy. Um, let's see here. Who else is in the house? Um, oh, and she's going to have a new episode. Return of Lamac is going to have a new episode up before we end the stream, I'm sure. So uh, be sure to check her channel out. Let's see here. Um, yes, that is Miss Mulatto next to Kevin Hart's picture. We're going to talk about her uh, very shortly, very, very shortly. Um, I have a couple more minutes to say some hellos. And, uh, you know, try to say hello to everybody. I try to say hello, Lady B, uh, my moderator extraordinaire. If I don't get to say hello to you, she sh surely will. She doesn't miss anybody. Uh, my moderators are really good at speaking to everybody when they come in. I try to, y'all. And sometimes I do miss comments and it's never intentional because I appreciate everybody being here. I really do. Uh, let's say here, Lakeisha. Hey, Lakeisha. Lakeisha's in the house. We got a few more Minutes to say hello. Well, just a couple more minutes. Hey, Carolyn, Ben, Carolyn, Ben, waiting on me to get started. Uh, Brandolyn, I will keep your name in mind. If I see anything go down, I will keep your name in mind. I want you to stick around and see how we do it first. Um, I think I'm good on mods, but uh, I don't forget when people ask me. Um, so just stick around with us because, uh, you know, I don't want you modding the wrong people because you got to see how it goes here. I've never seen your name, but you are a very cute girl. Remind me of my second oldest niece. Uh, let's see here. Thank you for being here, though. Dashara C. Dobb. Thank you for coming back. That is our mental health specialist, you guys. And she's here on her channel name. She's sometimes in here under Music Lady DD. That's the same person, though, when she's watching, she's Music Lady. But when she's being... When she's therapisting, she's the Charcy Dobb. So y'all can go and check out her channel for um, mental therapy uh, tips, health therapy tips. Um, Sweet Brown Sugar 504, my New Orleans lady. I love when you come in the house. Usually, I, first time I see you commenting, you're usually laughing. Hey, Wings and Mumbo Sauce, enjoying her mom, another one of my members, another one of my most faithful and supportive channel people before she was a member because I didn't have membership. She was just always a really faithful, uh, you know, supporter of my channel. And I appreciate 
having, you know, people like her. I mean, y'all come through for me and I just, I thank y'all. Hi, EM. How are you doing? I really enjoyed the conversation with you all last night. Cocoa Butter Barbie, welcome to channel membership again. It's so good to see everybody. Um, I'm going to go on and get on with the get on. I see Sapphire and Diamonds in the house. Hello. Thank you for being here, lady. Um, so let me go on and do a couple of things. I want to let y'all know we got some housekeeping things to do. And then I will let you know what's on the menu for tonight. And you decide if you want to stay or if you want to go. Mm. That's some good water. All righty. Are y'all ready? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, let me get to my notes. So the um, first thing I want to do, it is a bit of housekeeping that we got to do for the channel. And uh I want to mention because I said it uh, yesterday for the first time and I wasn't planning to get on my live stream yesterday, but I have to say it today. I was planning to say it today. Call in guests. Y'all know I love that's the reason that I set up on StreamYard because a lot of times like you may feel like that something I'm talking about is really important and you might either agree with me or disagree. And it's just too much to type into the chat. And that's why I want to talk to you. And I love having the ability to be able to talk to y'all in real time and, um, you know, have guests come on. But we had something go down. So I just want to say that my call in guests and I hate it, but this is the way it is from now on. Um, if you're going to call in, you have to be verified when you come on the channel and you have to come on camera. So there's a little process if you're new, you know, that you have to uh, go through, but you got to be on camera because when I streamed this past Monday, um, I had something happen that could have gotten my channel shut down uh, if I didn't have any discernment. Um, while I was talking to a lovely lady from Liverpool, England, um, who goes by the name of Spazzy Locks on YouTube. And I hope that she comes back here. She called in, she got on camera and everything. But while I was talking to her, I kept getting call after call from accounts which had um, screens of pornographic images, like showing uh, like they, you know, like pornographic movies, basically. And um, I something just told me not to open the first one. And then other ones just kept on popping up the whole time, the whole time that she was on. And so um, then eventually one of the people who had called in earlier, it was like I was getting another call from her. It was the same name, everything. And so I clicked on it. And then right when I clicked on it, a second one popped up with that name and with porn pornographic, you know, film uh, showing. So I had to shut it down like right away. And yeah, so for that reason, um, I, I have, I had, I hate to do it. Um, I hate to do it. And I know that some of you hate it too. Um, but I will not risk my platform that I'm working to build because of some idiots on YouTube. Um, so because of that, some one person, or I don't know if it was multiple people, but it was definitely multiple accounts. They ruined it for everybody. Um, and, uh, also another housekeeping thing. I'm really trying to get this stream down to only two hours um, instead of three, like we typically go. So I'm only doing two topics tonight and I'm going to see if that helps anything. Um, I did notice that there were a couple of salty men in my chat last night who were mad because they wanted to come up and talk, but they had to get their cameras on. Well, um, And one of them, he was trying and he wasn't one of those, but one of them who was trying, he was being very salty about it. I don't always get to see the comments when I'm live because I'm looking at the camera. I'm looking at screen, you know, it's a, if you uh, stream on YouTube, if you, you know, it's like a lot of things we're looking at. And so that's why I said, like, I try to say hi to everybody. I know I miss people and I feel really bad when you come in here. I don't at least say hi, but um, so I certainly don't get to see everything that's going on in the chat. I miss a lot of things sometimes, but I look at my playback as often as I can. And last night I looked at that playback from, you know, yesterday about five o'clock or so. And it was, you know, a couple of guys just in there just being very super fucking salty. And so there's no need for that. There's no need for it. Um, if I see you, I'm going to talk to you. And I welcomed everybody to come up and speak. Those guys, I t said, hey, I'll give you an extra five minutes. Do what you got to do to get your camera on. And y'all who were there, y'all know when I said that, I stayed on at least an extra 40 minutes and they never got their shit together to come on screen. I don't care if I if you've been here before and I'm not talking I'm not talking to anybody who's in here right now. Um, there's one particular person I'm talking to and I don't know if he'll even come back, but I don't care if you've been on before and you didn't have to do this. I've never had someone come on and try to flash porn to my whole audience before either. So we're in some new times right now on the Ty said what Ty said channel. So um, 
That's the rule. I don't care if you want to come out here and disagree with me. That's fine. Um, I well, I opened the floor for it, but um, these are the rules now, and they apply to everybody. If you've been here before, how would I look? Okay, well, he's been here before, but all y'all people who are new and who've never been, who never called in, who want to call in today, y'all got to put your cameras on, but this dude don't have to. F that. That's the new rule. Okay, so this is where we are. Um, hey, you not ready? Three sixty five up in the house records. If I miss you, just holler at me again, and always tag me like Diamond Onyx did when you put the um, at sign. That will grab my attention. I might not be able to say hi to you right away, but that will grab my attention. So, hi, Diamond Onyx, and I'm so glad you came back because that, that's why I want to say hi to everybody. I try to, and I know I say hi to most people. Hi, Tammy T. But um. Uh, you would probably, I mean, I understand like if people would feel bad if I speak to everybody and then like I miss this one person and I felt so bad when I watched my playback and Diamond Onyx had been commenting and commenting and I missed her. Hey, Roxy. Um, and, and I'm like, she probably is like, this girl speaking to everybody but me. I, I don't want to come here. So I do try to speak to everybody. And I know that it sucks for people watching the playback. If you're watching the playback, uh, I will start putting uh, timestamps in to let you know you can fast forward through my saying hi to everybody because apparently that really pisses some people off. But the people who are here live are like, I love that you talk to everybody. So I got to find a way to compromise. But one thing I'm not going to compromise is the um, uh, integrity of my channel or the chance of my channel getting shut down. So you do have to come in on camera if you call in. I hate it. I hate it because I know um, for me, a lot of times I'm watching YouTube is bonnet time and I don't feel like getting dressed up and fancied up. But it is what it is. All right. Hey, Larry. Uh, thank you for coming back. Um, so I see you got, oh, we got a nice full house. So um, that's all the housekeeping. Let me run down what we are doing today. And you decide if you want to stay or you want to go. Hopefully you'll stay with me. Mm. But these two short topics, but then we got our features, you know, so we know how to stretch it out. So let's see. Here we go. We are going to be talking about Mulatto. Mulatto, uh, the, is this her? Let's see, I, I, I'm not, uh, is that her? Yeah, that, okay, Mulatto. That is, uh, who asked, was it Chris P asking? So yes, this is Mulatto. Hey, Bernie, she is a hair thief. She's a rapper and she's a hair thief. And we're going to talk about her hair thievery antics. Okay, and then we are also going to talk about um, Kevin Hart this guy um, and how he called his daughter a hoe and defended it so that he could go viral. Um, so we're going to talk about that. And uh, we are also going to talk about our features. We're not really going to talk about it. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you uh, the what the fuck tweet of the week. It's an old one, but it's a goodie. I can't get enough of it. So I'm going to share that with y'all. And then we have our Florida man story. And that's probably y'all got one of the things that took me so long to get ready was the Florida man story because I actually have a video to show you, but I had to edit the video a little bit because, uh, hey, Lisa, when I went and looked at the video that is really the big part of the Florida man story, I tried to get it on YouTube and I saw that it was taken down from YouTube because of uh, it violated YouTube's nudity policy. So I had to go and edit it so that I could show it to y'all. So stay tuned for that. And then after we're done with all of my stories, then y'all get to participate in some winning on this channel. I have a new edition of the IDGAF game. And I know I've been saying it and a lot of people have been here with me for a while. But for those of y'all who don't know what it means, because I have not been saying, it stands for I do go and find. It's a YouTube scavenger hunt that I made up. We had probably the most competitive game ever played last Sunday and Roxy won it. And then she gave her winnings to uh, Return of Lamac because it was her birthday weekend. Her birthday was actually Monday. And then Return of Lamac shared her birthday winnings with another birthday girl in the house. It was really fun. And then we're going to have our gift card raffle, two gift card raffles. I have a $15 gift card raffle for my members, the people with the badges you see in here next to their names. And then I have a $10 gift card raffle for everybody else. Um, just because I have members now doesn't mean that I'm doing away with the special things that I do for everybody because it takes all of us to build this channel. So I appreciate everybody, but I do want to do a little, always something extra for my members because they pay for my content the same amount of money that people pay for Netflix. So I always want to show y'all that I appreciate the fact that you pay to see me. All right. So that's what we have on the menu for today. Let me see if I miss any hellos and then I'll go on and get into the stories. Mm. Yes. Um, uh, 
Let's see here. Deshara says, uh, yeah, that game last week. <laughs> I don't know if I got the momentum for that. Come on now, girl. You got to hang in there because you hang in there long enough. You're going to win it. You're going to win it, girl. Let's see here. Bernie came in the house. Hi, this is Bernie. Bernie S. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I might need <laughs> I might need you up here another time to uh, analyze this one, uh, Deshara. Let's see here. What are y'all talking about? Hi, Elise. Uh, hey, you look beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you. Tina, you're you're the best. I want you to stay around, okay? You don't leave me. Please. Hey, Chaz. Chaz B98. How are you doing? Thank you for coming back. I always love seeing you. Let's see here. Who else? Uh, does I say hi to everybody? Okay, y'all ready to get this party started? Hmm. Oh, uh, up in the house. I'm sorry, up in the house, Rakers TV. Y'all, he has a channel too. Uh, I haven't seen him here in a minute, but yeah, he has a channel too. And I haven't been to his channel in a minute. Go check him out. Uh, porn bomb. Some people have did it to me a few times before. That's, yeah, that's not cool. I don't play that shit. So you're going to have to come on the the channel with your face. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's some crazy people out here. COVID crazy people. Now that's a whole different type of crazy because we we never had this COVID stuff before. Yeah, thank you. Look, Diamond Honor is asking y'all to smash that like button. Smash it up for me, please. I appreciate you. Let's see here. Yes, thank you. Look, Ty said what Ty said, period. With a T. I love it with the T on the end. That means, you know, I mean it. You got to put your camera on. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I was ready for the saltiness, Ian. You're right. And there was a lot of saltiness. I mean, he was salty and tight and rolled up like a damn pretzel, but that's okay. We're going to keep it moving. Here we go. New day. Not a new wig, but a new hair flip. And we're going to take a deep breath and soldier on with the first story. Okay. Speaking of hair and a hair flip, we got this uh, lovely lady behind me, uh, yes, that is Mulatto for Chris, who asks, and anybody else who wants to know. My source for this story um, is Hip Hop DX. Um, so I go through the story and I, you know, salt in a little commentary, and then I give you my main commentary at the end. And then if you want to call in and tell me what you think about the story before we move on to the next topic, feel free to do that. Now, before I even get into this, um, I know that um, I have some explaining to do because I know my audience, even though it's changing, um, I know at least the people who've been here with me for a while, um, I'm sure that most of you are not necessarily familiar with this girl, but she is a rapper named Mulatto. Uh, she is a biracial girl uh, born to a black father and a white mother. She identifies as biracial, as she should, because she is. Um, I have seen black people getting on her case because she doesn't identify as black. Um, and I keep saying that one day though, maybe black people will learn to let biracial people call themselves biracial people, let them identify as biracial um, because they are. It does uh, black people, especially black women, a disservice to identify them as black because that only takes away from representation from actual black people, usually black women. So uh, black people sound goofy to me when they always, uh, you know, beg and half black people to pick their side, you know, um, and I don't know, um, calling biracial people biracial. It's not an insult to them. Um, so that being said, um, just let biracial people identify as biracial because they are. Now, more people though, it does seem they take an issue with Mulatto's stage name, Miss Mulatto. Uh, she was Miss Mulatto and I guess now she's just Mulatto, but her real name is Aly Alyssa Michelle Stephens or Stevens. It's S-T-E-P-H-E-N-S. So y'all let me know. And uh, she has been rapping since the age of 10. And from what I can see, this always has been her name, her stage name, Mulatto or Miss Mulatto. And if that's the case, then that's on her parents. If they were, since she was 10 years old, letting her run around use this term to refer to herself. Because historically, that word has uh, always been a racial slur. And that's why a lot of people call her out for having that as her name. And um, I've seen a lot of people saying that she needs to change her name. But 
mulatto like uh, a lot like black people who claim that they took the n word back and use it as a term of endearment which i think is stupid um she says that she too is taking the word mulatto and turning it from a negative into a positive um i don't see it that way but just um i'm curious though right now write in the chat if you think that black people calling themselves n word is positive or negative and right, if you think that biracial people who call themselves mulatto, even though she's the only one I know who does this, write back and uh, write in the chat right now if you think that that's something positive or negative. Um, so like for black people, the N word say negative. For biracial people, mulatto say negative or positive. I'm just like put negative positive, man. I just wanna get kind of y'all's feelings on where we are on this topic. Um, curious to know what y'all think about it. Um, so Roxy says negative as hell. Uh, hi, is it uh, Key Shane Bright says both are negative. Um, let's see, what else are y'all saying? The N word is negative in any setting, says Wings and Mumbo Sauce. Um, yes, Mula in Spanish is, um, yeah, is a mule. <laughs> a mix between a horse and a donkey. Some Latinos find it offensive. Uh, uh, 112 DZ says negative. Danielle says both are negative. Keisha Moore says both are negative. Uh, Larry, the photo key says very negative. Um, let's see here. Uh, cooking with the salmons. Hey, cooking with the salmons, y'all. They're going to be on this channel. So it's a family cooking channel. The uh, dad in the family, Greg, is going to come on here and cook for us. I'm going. I'm going to put up a poll for y'all. And I'm going to see what y'all want him to prepare. Do y'all want him to show y'all how to do some oxtails or a seafood boil? or a lobster boil or something else, or, or make some drinks. That's what I wanna know. And y'all can put that in there too, but we're gonna actually do a, a, an actual poll on my community tab before he comes so he can know what y'all want him. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Minnie Mouse says she doesn't like, she doesn't care about the negative connotation. She likes the name, hi Minnie Mouse. And uh, <laughs> Mara Dunstan says she looks hideous. Brenda says both are negative. Yeah, most of, most of us are saying that this is a negative thing, but um, let's see here. Um, now I, um, I don't believe that I've ever talked about Mulatto on my channel. I'm pretty sure that I have not. Um, I will say I know about her and anytime that I've seen her trending, it's usually because of some type of problematic behavior. Um, people have seen her as problematic ever since they heard her stupid name. The last time I saw her trending, it was because she was mad for being called a D-list celebrity while she was out performing in nightclubs during the height of the pandemic. So um, even though she claims to be an A-list celebrity, she was trending this week because she was called out for engaging in some D-list hood booger behavior. Um, here is the story from Hip Hop DX, that's my main source, sprinkled in with, you know, some corrections and, and my own commentary. So here's the story. Mulatto is facing backlash after accusations, multiple accusations of her being a wig thief having surfaced. Last week, a hairbender called out Big Lotto on Twitter for not tagging her in a 2018 post wearing the wig that she sent, the hair bandit hood booger. She claims Mulatto blocked her after she attempted to DM the D-list hood booger rapper multiple times um, since that incident. The quote says, um, and this is from the hair company lady, she says, Mulatto legit stole my hair two years ago and I've been watching, uh, watching her blow up. LOL, now she's blocked us, what a loser. Had the nerve to say that two years ago, uh, like money's changed in two years. Get the fuck out of here, silly bitch. The hair tech under the username uh, at Deborah Liani wrote. So Mulatto essentially uh, admitted the fault, um, but accused the vendor of clout chasing by bringing this up two years later when she's in the midst of her industry glow up. So the D-list hood booger wrote on her social media account, um, two years later, I'm getting $10,000 a post and still would a tag reimburse you if you would approach me different, boo. My last hairstylist stole all my wigs when we parted ways and I'm still resolving issues today because of it. Waiting two years for me to blow up sounds opportunistic. It's getting clout chaser. So Mulatto, the D-list hood booger continued, um, 
what y'all fail to realize is I have no problem buying a whole different wig on my own and tagging that girl as if it was hers. But you're not going to talk to me crazy without knowing the facts first and still expect to get what you wanted two years later. So where this hair bandit hood booger, where does she get off? Um, so she's admitting that she got the hair for free, but in the same breath, admitting that she did not hold up her end of the bargain, which was just to post a picture of herself on Instagram, wearing this wig and tagging the business, which was kind enough to give a D-list hood bugger an expensive wig. She didn't do it. So then other businesses began to flood Instagram, her Instagram comment sections, um, saying that they've had similar scamming experiences dealing with Mulatto, the D-list hood booger. Uh, another person said, she did me the same way. And that's uh, the the uh, name is like I-L-L-Y-Y dot K. She said, child, please sent her hair for promo. She was replying up until the hair said delivered. So they were going back and forth. But once she got the hair, then Mulatto cut off all contact with the girl. So now Mulatto, the D-list hood booger, claims both lawsuits are coming up out of the woodwork. Um, and she's also being sued for a car accident from years ago. The D-list hood booger hair bandit wrote on her social media, quote, I got a MF trying to sue me now for a car accident three years ago. Two, LMAO, she wrote several O's, like everything and everybody be so opportunistic. I swear to God, I be wishing I was normal sometimes. Well, word on the curb is uh, coming from a lot of people, Mulatto, that you are normal, that your wish has been granted. So Mulatto, the hair bandit hood booger, doesn't seem too stressed about the situation. Um, of course she's not. Hood boogers don't get stressed out about much. Uh, she continued to joke about the wig thievery a day later on Twitter um, by posting, steal a wig for me, daddy. And then she had another post where she said, snatching wigs, literally. Yes. Um, so y'all, I have no deep, deep thoughts about this because I'm too old to deeply care about Mulatto. Um, but she should have posted for those companies when they gave her the hair. Um, you know, for all this grandstanding and flexing like she has it made, um, she's moving like a common hood booger if these claims are true. And I believe that they are because she admitted, well, yeah, you know, so uh, that, that, that's all, all that I really have on this particular one. Um, if anybody wants to call in, let me just, just call in. I'll put the uh, link in the chat. But before you come in, make sure that you don't have any other screens and the other tabs open except for StreamYard and have your earphones on if you have some. Um, because if the chat is telling me that we're getting feedback or echoing, I'm going to have to let your call go. And my apologies, but I'm trying to make this a better playback experience for everybody who doesn't get to watch this live because I do see that people are coming back and watching it. And even for the lovely people who are catching us live now, you know, y'all be telling me your ears are hurting. Oh, echo, you know, what? Whatever. So um, I have my headphones in. If we happen to get any calls, I will take the calls. Hi, country mama. How are you doing? So let me do this. And I'm posting right now an invitation into the stream. And uh, I'll just read a couple of comments. I'll go, let's see, maybe mm, a minute or so and uh, see if we um, get any calls. If we don't, we'll move on. What are y'all saying? Exactly, Tammy T. Takes 20 seconds to tag someone. And then she's acting like, you know, she's mad at this woman for coming to her two years later. So, no, it's not that that woman is out, uh, is in the wrong for coming to you two years later. You're the one who's wrong because you had two whole years to post this and you didn't. I mean, girls around here wish we could get free expensive wigs. We, we spend 20 seconds of our time to post something to tag somebody for some expensive free wigs. Let me see. Um, Hi, Latoya, first timer. Hello, how are you doing? But uh, yeah, if nobody calls, then um, I'll just read a few comments and move on. Hi, uh, sorry, I was trying to get Lloyd Ellis. How are you doing? Thank you for being here with us. Good person, good evening, good person, good evening, people. Let's see here, who else? <laughs> she can pay the wig vendors back with Groupon. <laughs> oh, Lord, uh, let's see here. She looks like a mashup of 
Kim K and Cardi B surgery. And I think that she's always looked like this. I, you know, I, I don't want to say that she's um, had any work done. I don't think that she has. I don't know that she has. Um, yeah, Tierra versus uh, TT says, but she was opportunistic to take the hair. She was exactly, but she's calling out this woman like she's the one in the wrong for you know wanting to be recognized. Hi, Jenny, how are you doing? Thank you for coming and joining us. Uh, Storm is very good to me to tell his people about me. Um, let's see here. Kylie says she's a wannabe. Um, she's not hood. She she's a wannabe. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm with y'all. Classless, just classless. Mm. Yeah, exact. Thank you. Just pay the lady. Just pay the lady, Tammy T. That's all it takes. And then all this will go away. You know, you sit up here grandstanding and talking about how what she wants. And, uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, D list hood booger. I mean, come on. Oh, we got a call. Let me get my, my headphones in. We got Roxy on the line on her camera, on her camera, y'all. I'm not playing any favorites, so I don't want anybody calling Ty out. I'm not trying to act like no D-list hood booger. Hi, JC. Okay, so we got Roxy in the house, and let me bring her up. Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? I hear you. How are you sounding, y'all? I don't want to come off echo. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't tell us. So let me say this. Um, I don't know much about Mulatto, but I will say that Mulatto uh, did the rap game, if anyone's familiar with that TV show. And so with the rap game, she won, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people felt like she cheated her way through and her parents are, they have to be present on there. A parent has to be present because at that time they're underage. And so she won and she felt like uh, Jermaine Dupri didn't put much into her after she won. And so that was 2016. So here we are now at 2020 and Cardi B gives you one glow up opportunity and now you're an A-lister, but we haven't heard from you since 2016. First of all, second of all, uh, they instantly become influencers. And I think her issue was she didn't want anyone to know that she was wearing a wig because at that time people were still trying to, you know, throw off their real hair rather than being honest and say, hey, I rock wigs. What, what you going to do with it? So mm -hmm. I think that was Mulatto's issue because, again, she's Mulatto. So she should be Becky with the good hair. And so that's the thing. I'm quick to tell you. I'm pop on a wig in a hot minute. Like hot no tea, no shade. I still have my hair under here and I don't feel like curling it. I don't feel like being bothered with this. So it is what it is. But people like Mulatto want to give you this, this, I don't know, this fantasy of what a woman should be rather than what a woman really is. And so I think that's why she didn't want to tag that particular vendor. Mm. And then I think she felt like, oh, I'm a celebrity. Y'all should just be giving this stuff to me. Like people send stuff to Cardi B all the time and she probably don't post it. You know, she get to what she gets to. Mm -hmm. So just think about it. You right. as a YouTuber, if you're getting all this stuff, because, you know, there's some people that will send you wigs. There's some people that will send you different oils, essential oils and things like that. And they I mean, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get to it. But that's when you mm -hmm. have your publicist doing things like that. So. Actually, at that time, it was Mulatto that was going back and forth with her, actually doing an exchange. It'd be different if it was a publicist, because then if, if the artist doesn't want it, it just won't happen. But mm -hmm. this was actually Mulatto promising them. So it's different in that case. And so that's what Mulatto's not understanding is the business. And a lot of people think that people like Mulatto have money just because they see her and she gets all these clicks and views. But nine times out of 10, she's sitting in this small little apartment giving you this dream of what she wants you to think that she's living. And so I mm -hmm. think that there's a lot that plays into why Mulatto didn't go all out because she just really isn't getting, and I feel bad for her. Jermaine Dupri left her right. hand. He really didn't give her mm -hmm. the chance to uh, succeed. And so in her mind, she was going to be hood and take the stuff and be like, I'm that celebrity. 
even though she wasn't. And she's still a D-list celebrity. <laughs> Ooh, with a smile at the end. <laughs> <laughs> she's still a D-list celebrity, so it is what it mm. is. So, I mean, wow. I don't know about the girl, but I, I do understand the way that the business works. And I think that's the problem is Jermaine Dupree doesn't sit down and explain the business to them and what could come at them because there's so much that can come at them now. So. Mm -hmm. OK. And then to your point. So you're saying it, so, and this is a two year ago incident. So you're saying probably at that time she was still trying to fool people and make them think, OK, I, I'm a mulatto like I have long silky hair down in my butt, you know, oh, this isn't a wig. Okay. Exactly. I, I can see that being a thing. I can see that being a thing. It's People just so unprofessional. Like, their like, their extensions and they do it better than us. They have more opportunity. Yeah. Like they can have extensions uh, fused to their scalp. So mm -hmm. don't get it twisted. Just because you see these white women with, with clips and, and pieces and fusion mm -hmm. into their scalp, it does not mean that they don't have the same issues that we as black women have when it comes to their hair. And I think that's the thing about mulatto is one, you call yourself a mutt. That's gross. So right, right. Do, do you have mutt issues with your hair? And you just don't want to admit it. <laughs> so I could only imagine what that girl got going on with her hair. That does not always mean thick, beautiful, long hair. That does not always mean you can flip it and turn it and all that. Nine mm -hmm. times out of 10, she got thin white folk hair that's nappy. <laughs> it, it's something she, she's not wanting to be seen, you know? And then that's another thing though, a lot of the times um, when there are biracial girls, especially when there are biracial girls and the mother is white, a lot of times they don't know how to take care of their daughter's hair, kind of like Doja Cat, um, you know, talking about how she she likes how she looks, but she doesn't like her hair. And that yeah. could and her black father was not around, you know, to, to you know, hey, get my aunt, my sister. Here's your aunt. She can show you how to do that. And so a lot of time, and I see that's what I, I commonly see with biracial kids, uh, biracial kids who have a white mother is their hair is just a mess. And it's just because mm -hmm. they don't know how to take care of it. So she probably could have nice hair if her mom knew how to tell her, you know, this is how you need to moisturize, you need to wash, you know, if her mom may be trying to have her wash her hair every day and not put moisturize, who knows, you know? Right. But I, that's a really common thing that I see, especially with black uh, biracial girls who have the uh, mother as the white one and the father as the black one. That's pretty common. Right. So. And that, that's probably the thing is she just, she's a little embarrassed now because here comes this vendor. And at first it was just her versus the vendor, but then here comes all these other vendors. And right, right. Then, so, which okay. now it's starting to make me feel like it's more of a, of a character flaw when I saw that there were other people because some of these were more recent. So is it just that you want to, you know, hide your, the fact that you don't have what you envision to be mulatto, silky hair, or are you just flaw? Like, cause why, are, why is more than one person saying this? Why is more than one person saying that you're not posting wigs? I mean, and all you, I mean, you, you, they're not asking for money. So like, why, why are people doing that? Right, I love Fufu's comment. Cause it's so honest. Like, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. These men make us have these expectations of how we should be like, oh, I need to make, make sure my wig looks supernatural. Now this is what I want to rock today. Cause this is what I want to see. If you don't want to see it, don't right. look. I don't know what else to tell you, but I love when people are honest. So thank you Fufu for that. But literally this girl is up here trying to give us something else. I think she wants to be the mulatto version of Kylie Jenner. And we all know that Kylie Jenner is not <laughs> Kylie Jenner anymore. That's Kylie Jenner mm -hmm. 5.0. Like every year something Absolutely. about her changes. So, and she and has a on it. Right. So people can't respect you when they don't really know you and can't vibe with you. Like if this company gave you something and it's a good product, then rock it. If it's not, send it back to the company and be like, you know what? It was trash. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do this to my viewers. Right. So, I mean, just be honest about it. I think that's the whole thing. And then shame that's on JD. True. You know, that that's yeah, you have a point if that's the case. And here's another thing, though, when you talk about keeping it real about the wigs, because it's not just black women wearing them. Here's another truth about wigs. Just because you see a black woman in a wig doesn't mean that she doesn't have hair under that wig. 
a lot of us have a whole lot of hair up under these wigs and we like having a whole lot of hair and we don't feel like messing with a whole lot of hair because it is a struggle. And if we're working in corporate places, unfortunately our hair is so freaking politicized, you know, that it's going to be a problem if we go in there rocking our big, you know, our big Natural. crazy afro mm -hmm. is going to be a problem for people. So How a lot of a lot of times right, right. Can I touch it? <laughs> yeah. A Ooh. lot of times it's, it's not about wanting to look white. A lot of times it's about assimilating and doing what we need to do for a check, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, yeah. I just want to speak hey, uh, Gabriela Escobosa. I just want to speak on that because that bo one, it bothers me her name. Like, okay, be what you be biracial, proud. It's, that's almost like a right. gay man walking around calling himself DL. Like, that's weird. Right. Don't do that. Like, don't it disrespect yourself like that. Just be you. And so now that people have something to say, now you want to backtrack and slowly change your name. You're not P. Diddy. We don't even know one song from you. We know you as a feature on WAP. And WAP is the most controversial thing you ever want to talk about. So I don't know what to tell Mulatto, but Mulatto's going to have to humble herself in this type of industry when you have Meg Thee Stallion out here killing the game this year. And then you have Nicki Minaj and the Wings getting ready to come back. So Cardi B is here to stay. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't like her, but mm -hmm. her stuff still... She, it still. is what it is. She's still successful. Yeah, you can like her or not. Where the you money comes success. from on the road. It's when you go and support these people in their concerts, in their walkthroughs at clubs and things like that. When you show up to stuff like that, that's where they make their money. They don't make it from your clicks and your views and your your uh, spins that you give them. They make it from when, because that all goes back to the record label. So they make it on the road. And so when you all show up and you give these people the support, then this is what we get. We get a mulatto attitude. So I think mulatto needs to understand that her fan base is not cool with her attitude and the way she's treated. Because if she'll treat vendors that's giving her free stuff like that, how's she going to treat you when you ask for something from her? Right. Right. So, I digress. <laughs> I appreciate it. Let me get um, Eric. Um, I see it. Uh, he's been trying to get his camera going. Get your camera going and then come on back, uh, Eric. Uh, we'll, we'll keep on this for a second. Thank you. I appreciate you. That What a great call to kick it off. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Might You might haul back for the next one. Uh, let's see here. Hi, Dave County McFly. Thank you for being here. Um, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Um, okay, so uh, Eric. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to give Eric a second. If, Eric, if you want to come back and talk about this topic, that's fine, because I did see that you were on your camera, but just uh, be ready to come back on camera. I'm going to go on and move on. Hi, is it Kalia World? Hi, Kalia World. Mm. Okay, let's go on and move on to the next topic, you guys. We got this clown over here. Actually, let me see. I'd like to go in and take these off. Okay, I'll put them back in if somebody calls. Okay, here we go. Let's go in and get on to uh, Kevin freaking Hart calling his daughter a hoe to go viral. So my main source for this story is the Daily Mail from a story that they call Kevin Hart defends his teenage daughter's, uh, defends calling his teenage daughter's behavior hoe-like and shoots down accusations that he belittled black women. So a few things to this story. Um, Kevin Hart is defending the remarks he made about his teenage daughter's love life in his new Netflix stand-up comedy special called Zero F's Given, you know. Um, in the special, Kevin, the tiny dusty troll, joked, Dad, I don't like Rob no more. I like this boy named Tim. Instantly, in my mind, I said, my daughter a hoe. This is some hoe shit. Hoe activity right in front of my face. So first of all, labeling normal teenage dating behavior as hoe activity is disgusting. Um, but even more so when it's coming from a known hoe like Kevin the Tiny Dusty Troll. But what if his daughter is doing 
what is in fact hoe behavior? Well, he would know now, wouldn't he? They say that it takes one to know one. And I suspect that she would have learned it from her hoe as daddy, but I digress. Um, there was an immediate backlash and with some people accusing Kevin, the tiny dusty troll of demeaning his own daughter, who's 15 years old and belittling black women as a whole. Having heard the growing criticism and scrutiny, Kevin, the tiny dusty troll, decided to take part in a live clubhouse chat room earlier this week titled, Is Kevin Hart Funny? Where people express their varying viewpoints. The conversation uh, and give and take reportedly went on for more than 15 minutes. And at times people could be heard getting heated and talking over each other. And that's according to TMZ. Um, looking to address both the comment about his daughter and the reason why he joined the clubhouse at CHAP, Kevin the Tiny Dusty Troll took it to his Instagram page and shared a video on Friday that clocked in at just under two minutes. From the sounds of his response, he clearly found uh, the clubhouse conversation uh, and the many different viewpoints constructive. Now, that's not me saying that. That's the Daily Mail saying that Kevin Hart found this conversation to be constructive. I didn't say that. I don't feel that way at all. Um, but he made a point of shooting down any narrative that the online chat was aimed at Black women or meant to pit him against Black women. Now to that, I say, whatever. Kevin, black women <clears throat> have had your number for some years now. Uh, there's no reason to pit yourself against us because we already know what time it is with you. I can't understand why any self-respecting black woman who is aware of his antics regarding the things that he has said about black women still are supporting him. All right, guys, uh, it goes on. We gotta stop, stop with the false narrative. It's a false narrative is being created. And if you were in the clubhouse and part of the conversation, this wasn't about black women. It wasn't about me going against black. Stop, Kevin Hart said uh, with obvious emotion uh, from the top of his video. And again, that's the Daily Mail saying that, not me. I did not see any obvious emotion when he addressed this. The 41 year old tiny dusty troll said that he um, was asked about the joke referring to his daughter engaging in hoe-like activity while he was in that chat room. He said, here's what it is. I'm not calling my daughter a hoe. I'm saying what she did was hoe-like activity. I called three former hoes that I knew and I asked them, is this hoe-like activity? We had a conversation about it, a good back and forth. Now that part of it, I actually do believe. Um, I do believe that uh, Kevin you know, could go in your phone. I believe you could, Kevin Hart that you could go in your phone and easily call three hoes. I mean, we know that you have a proclivity for engaging with hoes from time to time. So yes, I do believe that you could easily dial up three or more hoes uh, and their numbers would be stored right in your phone. But here's the part that I can't believe because it's a lie. Let me back up to his quote again and then another quote from the special. Um, so again, he said, here's what it is. I'm not calling my daughter a hoe. I'm saying that what she did was hoe like activity. I called three former hoes and I, uh, three former hoes I knew, and I asked them, is this hoe like activity? We had a conversation about it, a good back and forth. Okay, so let's just look at now the first part of that quote. Here's what it is I'm not calling my daughter a hoe. I'm saying what she did was hoe like activity. Okay, now, but here's the quote from the special I'm quoting Dad, I don't like Rob no more. I like this boy named Tim. Instantly in my mind, I said, my daughter a hoe. This is hoe shit, hoe activity right in front of my face. So now I'll repeat just the first part from the special. Dad, I don't like Rob no more. I like this boy named Tim. Instantly in my mind, I said, my daughter a hoe. But then he also said, I'm not calling my daughter a hoe. And even if he had just said that she's participating in whole like activity, that's still some foul fucked up shit for a dad to say about his daughter. But anyway, he said um, he wasn't calling his daughter a hoe, but bro, you did. That's the thing. Don't act like our ears deceived us, you know, F out of here. So Kevin, the tiny dusty troll, then addressed the issue of why he decided to join the clubhouse chat room in the first place. Basically he summed it up to three things. Uh, he dubbed common sense, marketing, promotion, and conversation. 
So that's why he went in there. He said, understand guys, there's no other ways to market or promote because we're in a pandemic. I can't go and do the talk shows that I once did or uh, go out and do public stunts. I have no other way to market and promote myself except go viral. I have to create conversations, generate a back and forth. That's the marketing and promotion attached to my special marketing, promotion, conversation. Hence, it leads to streams. So if you haven't seen it, go see Zero F's Given streaming now, but stop with the false narratives and the clickbait. So um, what did I tell y'all yesterday? When we were in here yesterday, um, and I know that I've said it even before in this chat, I remember a few times that I've said it on this stream. I said that um, fame is a drug and the pandemic has these celebrities needing a fix. So even if it means acting a fool to go viral, you know, I just got to get people talking about me because I can't go out and be on a talk show set. I can't go and be on a movie set or in a music studio or on a television set. I need people looking at me. I need attention. So why doesn't he do like everybody else and just go start an OnlyFans? I'm sure that somewhere there is some segment of sick women uh, who are just yearning to see tiny dusty trolls do whatever the hell it is that they do. But um, my main commentary though, is to black women. It's not even about Kevin or what he said. Kevin the Dusty Troll has made how he feels about black women very clear. So my commentary is to you, black women, stop supporting him. Why look for anything different from Kevin Hart than what he has been giving us with no apology, by the way, ever, but rather doubling down, you know, he found his way to uh, apologize to the LGBTQ community when he saw that it was going to hurt his money, when he saw that he wasn't going to get the hosting gig that he wanted, right? But he has never apologized to black women for saying that dark skinned black women can take a punch better, better than other women, right? Um, and when he was put on the spot about that comment and given the opportunity to apologize he didn't. He instead doubled down on his comments, you know? So maybe Black women, maybe Kevin Hart did that because he knew that that would not affect his bag. He knows that as a collective, we have so little self-respect that we still go and financially support this little dusty troll ass Negro. We go and support his little dusty troll ass behind. No black woman should have even known what he said in that comedy special unless she saw it in the blogs or social media. Why are we watching him? I wish to hell that I would, you know, go and support a Kevin Hart project, right? Like you got me what we in the business call fucked up. If you think that I'm going to sit up and support anything that Kevin Hart does, knowing what I know about Kevin Hart, and if his comments about black women bother you that much or as much as they bother me or if they bother you at all, I suggest that you don't financially support him either. Um, I feel sorry for his daughter. I can't imagine my own father, whether serious or joking, saying that my decision to like one guy and then like another guy is whole behavior or whole like behavior. And I certainly can't imagine him calling me a hoe under any circumstances. Um, but you can go and find that Clubhouse chat online if you want to. I was going to share some of the video from that and some of the video from his, um, you know, response to it. But I didn't want to give him a click, not even on his Instagram. Um, so but if you, you know, want to, like I said, you can go find it if you're curious. But if you just want the cliff notes, I have it. This is what you missed. You miss Kevin Hart in a room full of people saying that he's not funny. So th these people, they're all, oh, Kevin Hart's not funny. And then you miss Kevin Hart going in that room and rebutting with, yes, I am. And then you miss Kevin Hart calling black women in the chat hoes. You miss Kevin Hart doubling down on slut shaming his 15 year old daughter. You miss Kevin Hart gaslighting black women. You miss Kevin Hart um, talking over black women. You miss Kevin Hart defending Bill Cosby. You miss Kevin Hart defending Bill, uh, R. Kelly. You miss Kevin Hart um, defending his right to call his daughter a hoe. You miss Kevin Hart um, uh, telling people how successful he is. Um, you miss black men threatening black women. You miss Ed Lover agreeing with Kevin Hart that black people tear black people down, but white people embrace black people. You miss Tiffany Haddish, who is the female version of Kevin Hart, by the way, calling black women angry and claiming that white women don't get angry like black women. Um, you miss black men 
kicking black women out of the chat for holding Kevin Hart to task about his comments. And you also missed first and foremost, dust. Most importantly, you missed dust, but you knew that because that's what you get when Kevin, the tiny dusty troll is on the scene. You get a lot of dust. So you miss an opportunity to do a lot of coughing. Mm. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, what are yours? So call in if you want to call in about Kevin Hart and his daddying, his fathering of his 15 year old girl. Um, call in and be sure that you have only uh, the StreamYard thing open and headphones on if you have them and uh, cameras on. Uh, I will take your calls about this and then we'll move on to our features. I'll look and see if we got any comments. Okay, it looks like Eric is camera ready. So let me put my headphones in and get on to Mr. Eric, hang on. Okay, hang on y'all. Hang on for me, Eric and then Whitney. Hang on just a second. Oh, actually, Eric, you hang on because that is one of my membership perks. They get priority on call-in. So I'm going to mute you, Eric, and then just stay there. I will bring you in. Um, oh. Whitney. Hey. Hello. Hi, eyelashes. How are you doing? My mama hates my lashes. She's like, oh, I hate them. Take them off. She just want to rip them off. <laughs> I'm just so sick of Go Kevin ahead. Hart. Kevin Hart has got to go. What's his daughter going to think when she, well, she's already grown up. I don't know if she was 15 already, but in the past, he's already made comments about dark-skinned black women. His daughter's dark-skinned. Now he's calling her a hoe. What What else can he do? I know. Oh, Whitney, I'm sorry. They're saying you cute, girl. Let me <laughs> go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> like, <laughs> does he not have any regards for, the field? for a check? For a check. For a check. You're already a millionaire, but you're going to sell out your daughter, calling her a hoe, you know, and then if he calls, trying to come back and say, mm -hmm. I want to see if he calls his new children hoes. See, let's see what he called them when they grow up. Hopefully they look like um, Terry Cruz's kids. That's Girl, why for. did you bring it back to that? Why did you bring it back to that? Because I was, I, you know what I was going to put in my notes for this? I was going to say, give it like five years and he's going to be talking about how he wished his children could identify as white. I have a Asian. feeling his children are going to come out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Asian. That's right. Asian yeah, because Nico uh, yeah. is half Asian. That's yeah, right. So. She's Blasian. I so, hope yeah. they come out looking um, just like him. They probably will. They hope probably will. That's how it ends up happening. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, thinking, me I'm too. I'm Tiffany too, but Tiffany wasn't on the uh, tonight's programming, but she can go as well. Mm -hmm. They both can go. They both can go to wherever it is that comedians who are not funny go. I, I, yeah, I'm about tired of it. I did a video about Tiffany a long time ago, and I think that I did a, a Don't Support Kevin Hart video. Uh, a couple of summers ago, I was on a Don't Support These Particular Black Men uh, kick because they're coming out saying bullshit about Black women. And it's always a dark-skinned Black man talking about dark-skinned Black women. I'll never understand. And well, ugly I understand. one that. I understand. But... Mm-hmm. And a short one who wouldn't be able oh, to, yeah, to get short. these women if he short didn't have the money. You're only on because you have money. Wouldn't nobody be checking for no damn Kevin Hart if he didn't have that bank account? And Nico would never have looked at him twice. And Nico was probably sick of him too. She didn't want getting cheated on and dogged out. But okay. she made the wise decision to pop those children out. So hopefully down the line, she's going to get her a nice lump sum. She, well, she's going to get her alimony mm -hmm. and her child support. And then he'll probably try to go run back to uh, Tori. No, yeah, Tori, right? The old first wife. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think that was Tori. her name. I think yeah, that's her so. name. Yeah, the one who wrote the good jokes for him. Yes, <laughs> the one who was, yes. But yeah. Because he ain't been it. funny since. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. You're so plain. pretty. It was like the only thing I supported him in was Soul Plane. And I didn't I see that, it. but I, I'm just not a movie person. Oh, I saw his first stand up. Oh, well, <laughs> they has got all the, the heavy hitters. Um, I saw his first stand up and I thought that I did think that it was funny the first time I saw him do stand up. And then when I saw the second one, I'm like, okay, you get the same thing with this guy. And that was before he'd ever said anything crazy about black women. I was just done. I was like, okay, he was funny the first time, but then I was done. 
But then when I learned all this other stuff, I'm like, oh, fuck that. You know, yeah, I, I'm not going to be giving my coins to these men at that. So, yeah, we, we need to all get on code. Tonight's visual was mm -hmm. brought to you by Outre. Come Outre. through. Uh, Synthetica. Synthetica. Come through. I'm not mad I about it. I don't $500 for no little wig when I have my own no. hair underneath. So I will use this little Thank you. $20 wig and she still look cute and she's been she does. To the, she's been to Central America and she still looks good. Okay, you see that's how you get to Central America because you spend your money on the things that are important. You know, we're not going to spend Central America's travel wigs, money on a right? wig. <laughs> yes. Get y'all to move on and just steal the damn wigs. Okay, yeah, that's always an option too. So maybe that, I don't know. That's an option, but that's when, not an option. When the platform me. grows, when the platform grows and they start offering tie wigs, you know, and we'll, we'll just start stealing them and not paying, and you know, we'll have a whole thing going on here. <laughs> Send them to me. You do your review, and I'll take them. Until then, I'll, I'll there you go. Take the little cheapies. Bye, y'all. I'm not mad about it. Bye. It's very pretty girl. Very beautiful. Golly, y'all. I have like really good looking women on this channel. I'm just saying. So, uh, anybody else? Okay, Eric, come back. I lost you for a moment. Come back, Eric. Um, so yeah, that, that is another member, another perk with uh, with channel membership. I do take y'all's calls first. That was the first time that it ever came into play. So uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, I'll take a couple more comments. Oh, okay, he's coming. Eric is coming back. Let me get let him get set up. Uh, I didn't see this. Kylie says, "Did y'all see Kevin Hart?" look-alike from Nigeria telling him to come home. Kevin freaked out and said, no, he um, thought it was God reminding him where he comes from. Mm. Okay, let me bring on Eric, you guys. Hang on just a moment. Hi, Eric. Oh, hey. Hey, thank you for hanging you in doing? there. I'm so sorry. I'm fine. How are you? Look at that pretty smile. It's okay. Okay, what, what you got to okay. say? Good. Yeah. Uh, okay. Are we are we good? Y'all um, let us know I'll, if we're good I'll, on sound. Go ahead. I don't know what Kevin Hart is thinking because like I said, I was like that. People put me in my place. See, people need to put Kevin Hart in his place to understand and comprehend that it's wrong to talk about black women. Even though I have wrongdoings, even though we're mm -hmm. not perfect as a as a black man like me and Kevin. We make mistakes and we can fix mistakes. And it's wrong for him that it doesn't matter that his door can light more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys. Mm -hmm. but, you, but you have to choose one. Right, you choose one. And like he said, she said she liked this one and then she liked that one. So what is the problem? Yeah. Uh, it's like you. It's like like he he womanizing because I'm a womanizer myself. And thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 like yeah, he 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 womanizes the women, even though people get happy about my womanizing ways. Mm hmm. So you're still a womanizer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you haven't reformed from that. So you reform from being dusty, but you have not reformed from being a womanizer. You're a former dusty, no. current yeah. womanizer. Uh, so you you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Get off of my channel. I can't believe you uh, sat up here, come and tell us you're a womanizer. Okay. So what else you got to say? I just want to say that I need to like stop that. Because I have opportunities yeah. to change. Well, I'm glad you know. Um, and, and I would say that womanizing uh, is one of the, the that, that's a dusty behavior. So if you're saying that you're a, a reformed dusty, then you need to do away with that so that you can be a completely reformed dusty. That's like being an alcoholic and saying that I, I used to be an alcoholic, but now I only drink beer. So you're still dabbling in dusty behavior if you're a womanizer. So um, call us back when you've gotten rid of your womanizing ways. 
and then we'll say, okay, he's got it done. We'll get, we'll give you a certificate. I'm gonna start making up some certificates. I'm a, I'm a mail them to y'all. I'm gonna say, this is your. Uh, I completed my 12 step uh, dusty program. I went from dusty to shining. I don't women. I, I'm not a womanizer anymore, and all these other things. So there, and uh, Deshara is gonna help me with that program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got anything else to say? Because we're gonna move on and get this thing closed up in in two hours tonight. I just want to say that I wish I could talk to him if he can understand. If he don't, that's up to him. Because mm -hmm. he's forty one, and, and I'm thirty one years old. Mm -hmm. Like I have to play the older brother role, even though I'm younger than he is. Right, right. So yeah, you have him beat on that, but I want you both to get over your womanizing. I'm not really concerned about him because I don't know him. Since I know you, I want for the next time you call in and like uh, Return of Lamax said, when you get delivered, from your uh from your yes. womanizing, then we'll say, okay, he's got he's on Erica's got it figured out, and then you can go preach the uh the 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 shiny gospel to to all the dusties so that they can become shiny too. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you, mm -hmm. Eric. I all appreciate right. the call. All right, later. No problem. Thank you for hanging later. here with us. Later. Okay, y'all. Um so That was that, y'all. That was our good friend, Eric. Um, let's see here. <laughs> We're going to go on and move on. We might be able to wrap this thing up in two hours. Are y'all ready to get to the features and then win some money? Whoop, whoop. Okay, here we go. Um, the what the fuck tweet of the week. I have to shout out. She doesn't even know. I have to shout out to Return of Lamac for reminding me of this oldie but goodie. This is an oldie but a goodie. I love this story every time I see it. If you've already seen it, then get ready to laugh again. If you've never seen it before, then you're welcome. So let me share this um, What the Fun Tree of the Week with y'all. Let me do, a, you know what? Let me go on and take these off because I'm done taking calls for the night. I'm pretty sure we don't have any more topics. Okay. I'm going to take these off and let me get a little bit more. Uh, all right, here we go. It's what the fuck tweet of the week time. Let me share my screen. <laughs> and it's uh, this one. All right, we're on Twitter. So here is a story that I just really love. Let me go on and play it for you. Let me you know, know what I like? I like the amateur sketch of the leprechaun. Yeah, it looks like somebody yeah. got a really good look at it and got that really... Well, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, crowds are coming by the dozens to get an up-close view at what some say is a piece of Irish folk folklore. Some people in the Crichton area of Mobile say a leprechaun has taken up residence in their neighborhood. A leprechaun. BC <laughs> 15's Brian Johnson has more. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community. Many of you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looks like a leprechaun to me. I got to do a little bit of tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yay? Yeah! Yeah! Eyewitnesses say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead that got hold to the wrong stuff and it told him to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. Yes, still on there, God. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. This guy helping to direct traffic says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This war is all spells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great-great-grandfather who was Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. 
I'm gonna run a back hole and uproot that tree. I wanna know where to go. I want the go. Give me the go. I want the go. This is Brian Johnson, NBC 15 News. People will do anything <laughs> for a pot of gold. I mean, uh, you know what I like? So I like that's the amateur story, sketch. Yeah. Yeah, that sketch was a mess. Um, <laughs> y'all, that story, it gets me every time. <laughs> oh, anybody seen a leprechaun say, yeah, yeah. All the people. <laughs> that had to be the local DJ. Uh, so let me see. Um, <laughs> Chris said, <laughs> wait, what did Chris say? He said, these people are obviously black Irish. <laughs> that or they are fans of that movie Leprechaun in the Hood. There was a, you know, not much of a movie person, but. <laughs> uh, amen. <laughs> okay. For real. Now, if, if that was not the perfect story to tie in with Kevin Hart, sell his uh, own daughter for a freaking pot of gold. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the hood bigger leprechaun. Oh, Kylie. <laughs> oh, the leprechaun. <laughs> Y'all, this is a mess. So this is my time where I can wind down because I'm not going to repost this part of the stream. So now we, we're just having a good time. And then we get to our Florida man story. Where's the nearest bridge? <laughs> right? What did that man mean? Talking about he's going to get down to the bottom of it like he's all of a sudden a freaking, you know, investigator. <laughs> I, was, I was done. <laughs> yeah, that, that amateur sketch. <laughs> Maybe it's a crackhead up there got a hold of something bad and got him acting like that thing. That's what he got to do. <laughs> Bernie says too much. Danielle, yeah, I remember the story for a long time. This is an old story, but if whenever I see it, I am just cracking up. Oh, my freaking goodness. <laughs> Larry looks to be maybe embarrassed at our people. Don't be like that. <laughs> Damn. Anybody see a leprechaun say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Now, Tina's calling you out. Tina's calling you out, Eric. She said you was grinning a little too hard talking about being a womanizer. She don't think you got any intentions of stopping the womanizing ways. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> could have used a lot to pick the, If he would have found a goal, he would have put him on his teethuses. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy on that story. <laughs> sure, like, oh, look at that. Who said that? <laughs> Kylie. Kylie's crazy. <laughs> the groupie voice. Yeah. <laughs> See a leprechaun saying, yeah. Yeah, that's my leprechaun. That's my um, leprechaun. That's my groovy voice. <laughs> Wait, but she said somebody tweet Kevin asking if he's been in those people neighborhood. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> that's a mess. He named all the blind people and said that they saw the gingivitis from a mile away. Anybody who's ever been and blind and dead people, you know what? You're out. You're wrong, Chris. You're so wrong. Okay, so that was that, you guys. Now I can close that one. And it's time to get to the Florida man story. So remember, I told y'all when we got to 10,000 subscribers, um, that we will start to guess the race of our Florida man. So I'll be looking for your guesses as I read today's Florida man story. And uh, so I got to set it up for you. Um, we, um, we're we going to have the Florida man cameraman. So you have to guess the Florida man cameraman and the Florida man biting men. Okay. Um, if you know the story already, you can't tell us, hey, I know is this just pretend like you're guessing and then we'll all be like man you're so smart you got it right but don't don't ruin it for us so we gotta guess mm. country mama said i gotta cracking up y'all it's not me i just give y'all the material that the news gives me so here we go 
Today's Florida Man story comes to you courtesy of Media ITE. And they titled their story, Florida Man um, Explains What Started Outrageous 2 AM Pants Off Viral Video Brawl at a Wawa. Now I do have the video to show you after I read the story, um, but I had to edit the video because when I went to look for the video on YouTube, I'm glad that I looked for it on YouTube because I was going to just show it. I saw that it uh, was taken down because it violated YouTube's nudity policy. So y'all are going to see it with some edits. And I didn't want to just cut it out and show you like only certain parts because the ed the uh, voiceover on this recording is like amazing. So here we go. Uh, don't forget, guess the race. You got uh, Florida man cameraman and two Florida men fighter men. That's what we're going to call them. So, when two Florida men fought each other during a comically absurd 2 a.m. brawl at a Florida Wawa store, Florida man cameraman was there to provide hilarious commentary and attempts to uh, mediate the fight. Now he explains the even more absurd reason for the fracas. Florida man cameraman posted the unbelievable video to Twitter on Monday, which featured two Florida man fighter men in a desperate and dignity free struggle to beat each other senseless while maintaining a minimal level of pantsedness. Pantsedness means uh, wearing pants. All the while, Florida man cameraman delivers gut busting commentary and attempts to quell the disturbance. The clip garnered over 4 million views and tons of reaction from other Twitter users, much of it to Florida man cameraman's contribution. But even more bizarre is the apparent reason for the fight. Florida man cameraman was interviewed by Orlando's WPLG local to ABC and explained the reason for the fight. He says, this is Florida man cameraman talking. He held the door open for the other guy and the other guy didn't appreciate it. He wasn't feeling it. I told him, hey, don't ever open the door for me again. I don't need any help. See, some dudes are weird about other dudes holding the door for them. There is even a study obviously performed on some very secure dudes. So here is some information from that study. In an experimental field study, passers-by were randomly assigned to experience this type of door holding help or not. Males who had the door held for them in this manner by a male uh, reported lower self-esteem and self-efficacy than the males who did not uh, hold the door for them. Females were unaffected by door holding conditions. So WPLG reports that Lauder Hill police say that they did respond to the altercation and both Florida men fighter men declined to press charges. And um, that as for the Wawa, they simply asked that the men never return to their store. So let me show you all as much of the video as I could but I did edit it so that you can still hear the man's commentary. So, uh, oh yeah, by now you have to have your guesses in because I'm you're going to see, because I'm going to play you the video. So here we go. Let me see what y'all's guesses are before we start. Well, never mind. I'm going to go on and play the video. Here's the story. Let me go on and uh, play it. And oh, it's going down. Go ahead. Oh, what are we wilding? Well, what are they wilding? Because that's how... Hey, I just want my sandwich. No. Go ahead. Yeah, Paul, move, bro. Move, Paul. Let them boys do what they got to do. Let them boys do what they got to do. Take them to the sky. Take up top chicken box. Bro, pull out your pants, fam. Oh, okay. Hold up. Y'all see me. Not the. It's not sharing. Hold up. I gotta start it over. Sorry, y'all. I thought that I had it ready to go. Look at me. Look at me. Okay, here we go, y'all. Now, I think we're good. Are y'all seeing all that? Okay, I believe we're good now. Let me go on and start it. There is a delay, so it does take me a while to see that y'all don't see something. Okay, so here we go. No, it's going down. Go ahead. Oh, who are we wilding? Well, oh, no, they wilding. Cause that's how. Hey, motherfucker. I just want to. No. Go ahead. Fuck you. They can fuck you, please. Fuck, get out. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Yeah, Paul, move, bro. Move, Paul. Let them boys do what they got to do. Let them boys do what they got to do. Take them to the sky. Take up top chicken box. Oh, oh. Bro, pull out your pants, fam. 
Keep doing the stop move. No. Wild wild two in the morning. You ain't got no power. Shit, might as well. They wild it. Y'all tired now. Y'all tired. Shit, I'm tired of this. You already know. Take it outside. Y'all boys get from the register so I can pay. Y'all boys just scoot over real Y'all boys about to get back and just come pay me for my shit right quick. You wild ass. Yeah, they tripping out here, ain't it? It's 2 in the morning. Just let go. That's all you got to do, fam. Let me let go. If y'all wanted to end, y'all both just let go. Y'all both dap up. Call it quits. Y'all got a good one in. I like it. He ain't going to do shit. Y'all boys just... Agree to not mama get each other. It don't look like it. Oh, oh, there it go. Oh, you pass me off soon, fam. <laughs> <laughs> you know this good footage. Ooh, ooh. Okay. He said he ain't done. Like that. Do what you gotta do, fam. Oh, oh. Yo, 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 he wildin' with this shit like that, though. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, I can't post that. Yo, you trippin', fam. Bring your pants up. Yo, what are you talking about? You're talking to me. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. It's still going. Yo, it's, I'm trying to tell him it, it's done, fam, but they don't wanna... He say, fuck that. He ain't going. He ain't going. He ain't going. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. You good. Get up out of there. 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 You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Police coming. You know that. You're gone. All right. So, that was the fight, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And so, what y'all saw... It was not nearly as uh, like there it was just like a whole lot of behind that I had to um, put those gifts over so that I could even show y'all this fight. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of ASS on the screen. Mm. <laughs> CJ says still better than Nate Robinson. Oh, now you know. Mm. You ain't lying. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Mm. Let's we'll see. What are y'all saying about this? And then after this, it's time. I'm gonna read some comments, and then it's time to get to the winning. So if y'all want to go and start refreshing your screens, because there's definitely a delay, I can tell from the comments. But uh, yeah, the cameraman is black. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's we'll see. What are y'all saying? Yeah. See, look at y'all. Just just want to make black people look bad. Y'all think it, they they all black? Hey, uh, Beauty B, how you doing, girl? Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of a lot of wrong guesses. Thank you for letting me know y'all couldn't see. Shout out to Roxy. Cause I yeah, I'm thinking y'all I'm I'm watching by myself. Let's see here. Hi Georgia, how are you doing? Uh <laughs> Alethea shocked by this <laughs> discovery. <laughs> Lady V <me> too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Whitney's like, I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> Kylie's like, yeah, girl, you did. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> where are their shoes? I don't know where their shoes are. I don't know. <laughs> we just cracking up the country, mama. <laughs> thigh meat, yes. <laughs> Come through thigh meat package. Yeah, that was a mess. That was nothing but a total mess. Oh, y'all. <laughs> okay, that's that for that. So now, you guys, the time has come for somebody to win some money. It's time for somebody to win some money. So this is where I'm going to give you all a couple of minutes um, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to refresh your screens, and then we're going to play IDGAF. IDGAF is a game that I made up. It's a YouTube scavenger hunt. Um, oh, you, you want to see the commentator? Uh, I, I'll show you a picture of him. I see uh, Brenda asking where... The, so he's just filming, obviously, during the video, but let me share my screen. I do have his Twitter up, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see the picture, but I'll show you his Twitter. Um, good question. See, Brenda, with all the pertinent information. Okay, so let me share. So this is his Twitter. 
Um, I'll just enlarge that picture. I don't know how well it's going to show up for y'all, but that is the commentator. That is uh, D Dollars. Um, there he is. Bam. Okay. So, good call. Um, good call, Brenda. Okay, so here we go, though. Um, <laughs> this is a game that I made up. Um, and it's just a YouTube scavenger hunt. And I send you to different music videos with a question. And we're not we're not doing the Jeopardy edition anymore, so y'all don't have to worry about what is in the question mark. That was for our tribute to Alex Trebek. Shout out to Chandra for giving me that uh, suggestion because I love Alex Trebek and, I, and it makes me sad that he's gone. But um, so anyway, this is the game. It's a YouTube scavenger hunt that I created. I send you two music videos with a question. The answer to my question is in the music video. You go to the music video, you find the answer to the question, and then you come back and you put the answer in the chat like you've been typing on night. Answer the question, the first three correct responses get a point. So it really anybody can win. And one of the reasons anybody can win is because I don't know how you're coming up with your answer. So if you're really fast at typing and you're a really good cheater, I'm going to tell you the first person to get the uh, correct answer. If you can just copy off of them and get your answer in uh, quickly enough, then you can get a point. First three correct responses, get a point. At the end of uh, the seven points, I think I have an extra point for y'all tonight. I think that there are eight tonight. Yeah, so at the end of the points, we tally it all up. Whoever has the most points wins. If there is a tiebreaker, instead of splitting the pot, we're going to have a tiebreaker question. Um, and um, the uh, whoever is left in the game, whoever is still in play, um, and answers that question first, they get the whole pot. Now, uh, anyone can answer the question. And if y'all want to like help people if they're in a tie, then you can answer it. But only the people in play, I'm looking for their answer to give them the money. So that's the way that the game goes. Um, there are more people playing. And so it's harder for me to catch up, but I typically do get it right. So um, a lot of times though, the way that things will come up for you are not the way they come up for me. So like you might think you were the first person, but on my screen, you should have to be the fourth person. So if there's a dispute, let me know. And uh, I'll always go back and ask to, uh, I'll ask the people in the audience, hey, does it come out differently for you? And if it does, then the person I gave the original point, they still get the point, but it'll just be four people get a point for, you know, on that particular question. Um, now, I believe those are the main rules of the game. If there's anything that I'll leave, oh, there is another rule. If you answer a question correctly and then you change your answer to an incorrect answer, I'm always going to take your most recent response, your last response. So if you get it right and then you get it wrong, I'm going to have to say you don't get the point. So be careful if you're copying, uh, you know, of who you are copying. You can guess the answer. I don't know how you're going to get it, right? So it's all good. So we're just playing. Um, and since we didn't, we haven't gotten any super chats tonight, so we're playing for ten dollars. So uh, that's something else that I didn't say because it hadn't come up. So when uh, we play the game, I start the game with ten dollars in the pot. And if we get any super chats while we're on a live stream. I divide that money into a third. Really, Google, they take their third off the top. I keep a third, and whoever wins this game gets a third. So there's nothing to add to the pot. And if I get any super chats after the, we start the game, that money all goes to me. So um, nobody has anything extra. So we're playing for $10 tonight. We played for $30 last week, like $29 and some change. $29.98. That's what we played for last week. But anyway, we're playing for, for uh, $10 this week. And But someone, though, has a chance to win $100 before we ever start the game. And I'm waiting for my clock to get to 29 minutes exactly so that I can count out um, two minutes to give someone a chance to win $100. It's related to the game, but before we ever start the game, someone has a chance to win $100 in 20 seconds when I reveal to you something. Because if you're able to guess the artist and the songs that I'm using within the theme, there's always a theme. So if you're able to guess the artists and the songs of the theme for tonight's game, you will win $100. You have to put all of those answers in one comment on the chat, not in multiple comments. So here is tonight's theme for the game. 
again, we're finishing up the category artists with animals in their names. So how you do this, I want you to take your time and think about it. That's why we have two minutes to do it. So when my clock gets to 131.15, I need the answers in. So you have some time to think about it. Um, take your time and get all your answers in your head and then put it all in one response in the chat. So let's say like the, um, let's say that the topic is colors. You can't go red, enter green, enter blue, enter, no, you have to go red, green, blue, purple, orange, yellow, and then enter it all on one response because it's too many people for me to go back and like keep checking. So you have to guess the artist and the songs within two minutes. So take your time and then come back and tell me. And there are, if you guess seven of them, because I do have an extra question, I usually have seven. If you're able to guess seven, including what might be the tiebreaker, then you get a hundred dollars. Artists with uh, animals in their names and the songs that we're going to look up tonight. So take your time and think about it. You have another minute. <laughs> no, the theme is artists <laughs> with animals in their name, not whole behavior, CJ. Oh, hi, Intellect and Beauty. That's a new name. Hi, thank you for coming. You came just in time for the winning. We're almost done, but we play games at the end, do our raffle. So you're all, you're here right on time. Y'all have 30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. I think that the most that has ever been guessed is three. And I want to think that it was Alethea who guessed three of them. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's see what these answers are that y'all had. Okay, I see one for Doja Cat. I don't see any songs. Doja Cat, Snoop, and Jaguar Wright. Tiger, Jaguar Wright is one of them. Doja Cat is one of them. Let me see, Return of the Little Mac has the Beatles, the Eagles, Def Leppard, the Monkees, Snoop Dogg, Flock of Seagulls. So we had Flock of Seagulls last week. You have two of them, but just the artists. Nobody's guessing any songs. Flock of Seagulls, White Snake. Pussycat Dolls, Snoop Dogg, The Turtles, the Monkey Shadow, right? Um, you have a few of them from last week, Chris, because that was actually the, this is the same category from last week. Okay, so nobody has it, because um, nobody even gets any songs. So here we go. Question number one. Uh, get ready to look up videos, copy, guess, pray. Um, no, it, it's the artists and the songs, but it's all good. So, and don't forget, if you don't win this game, stay tuned because we're going to do the gift card raffle after this. $10 gift cards for everybody uh, who's playing a chance to win a $10 gift card and a chance for my members to win $15 gift cards. And then my members have a chance to win the $10 cards too because that's another perk for membership. They get to do both of the drawings. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's all right. Maybe I'll give y'all 30 more seconds when we get to 15,000 subscribers. <laughs> okay, here we go. First question. Question number one. The artist is Jaguar Wright. Go to her video for the what ifs and tell me in what style is she wearing her hair for this video? What style is she wearing her hair, Jaguar Wright? Hi, uh, Jayla Lynn. Okay, Pittsburgh, PA in the house. We're just playing a game. You came in right at the beginning. Um, so you can jump in and play with us. And uh, I'll take that, Return of Lamac. I was looking for a shorter answer. Yes, and American Copperhead and Country Mama. Okay, Return of Lamac, American Copperhead and Country Mama. I was looking for braids. It would have been easier to write. Okay. 
And country mom wrote Bob's braid, I guess. Uh, uh, oh, she guessed. Okay, yeah, you wrote all that extra stuff. You could have missed your chance to uh, to get your answer in. And keep your answers as simple as possible, unless I'm looking like for something really specific. Um, and I'm not concerned about misspelling and all that. So um, yeah, uh, Tina is asking if I started the game. Um, yes, well, somebody, if I have a moderator who doesn't mind asking her or, or just anybody maybe tag her and let her know that uh, she might wanna refresh her screen because that does happen sometimes. So here we go with question number two. Go to the Def Leopard video for Love bites? Is that what? Hold up. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Let me. I gotta double check myself. Love bites. Okay. I I don't know why I was thinking that that wasn't the name of the song. Go to the Death Leopard video for Love Bites. I really just had like a brain fart right there. Okay. Uh, love bites. Love bleeds. Okay. Anyway. It's making a fool of me. Love bleeds. Love dies. It's no surprise. Okay, go to the Death Leopard video for Love Bites. Coming out of the first chorus into the second verse, we see the lady, the leading lady walking in a dress with a jacket over it and a very ornate necklace. What color is her dress in this scene? Love bites. <laughs> a shaved head. Uh, intellect and beauty has it. And Gabrielle and American Copperhead. I'm going to give it to Carolyn because it looks like maybe it was a. Okay, intellect, Gabrielle, American Copperhead. Okay. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think I feel like that could be taken as a misspelling for red. Um, okay, <laughs> just hang in there. We have more questions. Uh, question number three. Um, how do you refresh your screen? Um, there, there should be like a little. For, and I don't know what kind of device you're watching on. If you're watching on a computer, usually like in the top left corner, sometimes in the right, there's like a little arrow that's like almost like a circle that doesn't go close all the way. Um, just like hit that button and it should like bring you kind of up to speed. Um, or, or yeah, or just shut down out of the video and come back like you're coming in for the first time. Good tip, American Copperhead. Okay, question number three. Go to the Megan the Stallion video for body. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. That's all that I know. Okay, go to the Megan the Stallion video for body. Who directed the video? The name appears on the center of the screen at the beginning of the video, first and last name. Aisha has it. And Gabrielle and Alethea. Okay. I love it, man. We got new people scoring, new people playing. I, look at, uh, look, Aisha, go, on, go ahead on. Give yourself a pat on the back. She's so happy. I, I love seeing new people play this game and score. Okay. Um, still anybody's game, y'all. Hop on in here.
uh, go to the Pitbull featuring Kesha video for Timber. It's going down. I'm yelling Timber and something, something. Anyway, at the very beginning of the video, we see Kesha busting through the double doors of a saloon. What is the name of that saloon? <laughs> Return of Lamac and Intellect and Beauty, Habit, and Country Mama. Okay. Question number five. Is it five? Yeah. Go to the Doja Cat video for Say So. I never knew what. Got to say so. Okay. Go to the Doja Cat video for Say So. At the very beginning of the video, we see a street sign. What block number and street is it? For example, the 2200 block, oh, yeah, 2200 West Main Avenue. Like we see the street sign, we see blah, 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 blah. blah. So tell me what block, what street, but put, do it like that, like 2200 West Main or whatever, you know. See you, Alethea. Somebody is very close, but they put a three where it doesn't belong for the hundred block. Check your answers and see if you have a three where it doesn't belong. That's all I'm going to say. Country Mama has it, and Intellect and Beauty has it, and Return of Lamac. That's who I was telling the check. Country Mama, Intellect and Beauty, and Return of Lamac. Okay, question number six. She said 2300 Jackson Street. <laughs> hey, it's all good. Um, that's why we're just looking at videos. They're not like really guessing. That's why go the videos, but just copy off of somebody who has it. Uh, but stay tuned because you might win in the raffle. Requires no skills and is fun. Okay, go to the Eagles video for I Can't Tell You Why. I never knew that there was an official video for this song, but let me help y'all. This is exactly how it comes up on uh, on YouTube. It says Eagles 1979. I can't tell you why. Official video hashtag remastered in HD. I can't tell you why. No, baby. I can't tell you why. Okay, go to the Eagles video for I can't tell you why. 
what is the setting for this video? There are a few answers that I will accept for this. Make it harder than it has to be. I can't. Yeah, intellect and beauty. I'll take intellect and beauty and return of Lamac and Asia B. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I was I would have accepted studio recording session. Yeah, there's a few things I would have accepted for that. Okay. Numero siete. Go to number seven, the Snoop Dogg video for gin and juice. Rolling down the street, smoking in the, the banana gin and juice. Okay. Go to the Snoop Dogg video for gin and juice. At the very beginning of the video, we see three boys jumping on something. On what are they jumping? Hmm? Uh, recording, yeah, recording studio is right. It was just uh, intellect and return of Mac and Asia B got in first. Um, okay intellect and beauty and american copperhead and return of lamac And because I could only really think of one other artist for this category, um, uh, the car, <laughs> um, I decided to go and throw in an extra question. Well, that and a, a, a tiebreaker uh, question. If we need it, we have it. So go to the Latrim video for cars that go boom. And I'm using them because they are Tigra and Bunny. Okay. We like the cars. The cars that go boom. We're Tigra and Bunny and we like the boom. Okay. Go to the Latrim video for cars with the boom. I'm giving you a good hint here. After the two minute and 30 second mark, they instruct us to turn down the treble and flaunt your bass so your car can be heard from any place. At that moment, we leave the scene of their auto shop, body shop, speaker shop to a scene with a person wearing what type of gear? And there are a few different answers that I will uh, accept. Okay, then I will I will do the, um, I will do uh, your challenge on that country mama. Let me get these answers in and then I will go back and look at that one. Uh, I'll accept that intellect and beauty. I'll accept that. And Return of Lamac and American Copperhead. I was thinking, um, I was thinking uh winter gear or coat uh i would have accepted it was a few things i would accept for that one okay so let me go back to um question number the one about the eagles that is question number six okay so for question number six recording studio studio uh lots of different things okay i have that as Intellect and Beauty, Return of Lamac, 
and then A should be. Do y'all see that one differently on y'all's? Because for Country Mama, she shows up first in hers. Hey, NECA, um, you didn't miss everything. You still um, have time for, um, for uh, what do you call it? For the raffle. Um, oh, she, she got an ad. Okay, anybody see that differently? If y'all do, I'll give her the point. Um, anybody see that differently? I, I, I think she's okay with it because she's saying she got an ad. And maybe that's why, maybe that's why it looked different for her. If y'all see that one differently, y'all let me know, and I'll give her the point. I showed up first in mine. You showed up first in your own as well. Carolyn showed up first in hers. Does anyone have Carolyn showing up first for their for theirs? Carolyn or or yeah, I think that sometimes that, that happens. I refresh. Oh, okay, you you refresh it. So you okay, okay, it's all good. I don't mind a challenge. I'll always go back every now and then. I get it wrong, so I'm, I'm always fine with that. Okay, let me tally up the points and see if we get to use our tiebreaker question or at all. Here we go. Let me take a look. We got return of Lamac. Trying to do this neater so I don't have any issues. That's why it's taking a little bit longer today. Okay, Returnable Mac has one, two, three, four, five, six points. All right. American Copperhead has one, two, three, four points. Okay, I'll take it. Country Mama. Has one. Ooh. Eyes also itching. Two, three. Three points for Country Mama. Not bad, not bad. Intellect and Beauty has And that, uh, that's a new name for me, and she came to play. So let me see if she has one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, might we have a tiebreaker tonight? Okay, Gabrielle Escobosa has one, two, two points. Okay, and I think that was your first time. That's a good showing for your first time, like, for real. Go ahead, get Gabriel. Oh, my God. Go on, on, Gabriel. That's my nephew's name. Gabriel, do your thing. I'm not mad. Let's see. Um, American Copyright. Carolyn has. Has a point. All right. Carolyn Bend had a point. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, Carolyn, now, that wasn't a challenge. Was, okay, let's see here. Let's see. Carolyn. We got Aisha. I believe this is her first time playing or or maybe her first time scoring. Aisha has one, two. Aisha has two points. Go on, girl. That's good. Okay. Oh, it's okay, Nicole. You came in just in time for the raffle. So let's see here. Um, thank you for coming, though. I don't care what time people come. I don't take attendance. It's all good. Let's see. Uh, Aisha, Gabriel, Alethea has. She's gone. But she has one, one point for Alethea. Okay, a return of a Mac, Intellect and Beauty, Country Mama, Country Mama, Intellect and Beauty, Return of a Mac, Intellect and Beauty, Return of a Mac, A to B, Intellect and Beauty, Mary Copy, Return of a Mac, Intellect and Beauty. Okay, so we have a tie, you guys. It's down to a tie. It's down to a tie. See, look, A to B got two points first time. That's what I'm talking about. So, here we go, ladies. Are you ready? Type a one if you are Return of Lamac or if you are Intellect and Beauty and you are ready for your tie-breaking question. Type a one if you are ready. Return of Lamac is ready and Intellect and Beauty is ready. Okay, ladies, here's your tie-breaking question.
go to the monkeys video for Valerie. This is the instrument that Davy Jones is playing on that song. Davy Jones is the lead singer of the monkeys. What instrument is he playing on the Valerie video? If anybody wants to jump in and help them, y'all can, but they've got to answer that question. Return of Lamac. Uh oh, Intellect and Beauty got it. Intellect and Beauty got it. The tambourine, she got it. All right. Intellect and Beauty, congratulations, y'all. Congratulations to our winner, new player, new winner. You did it. You did your thing. Okay, so you have won $10. Now, um, I'm looking for your answer to come into the chat. Do I need to give you that by Cash App or Zelle or PayPal? Tell me how you want your money. And if you will, uh, yeah, tell me how you want your money. And if you can put how, uh, like your code to send it, then put that in your response as well. Congratulations, y'all. How exciting. But stay tuned. She's the first winner. She's not going to be the only winner tonight because we have our, uh, our raffle, our gift card raffle coming up. Um, I see congratulations all around. I'm looking for her to tell me how she wants her money. I see the what, premium package and fast internet owner return of the Mac. Just kidding. <laughs> I love playing the game. My internet just started buffering. I hey, it happens to the best of us. I get it. Um, I'm looking. Uh, that was a good game. Storms in me here. Cash app is fine. Okay. Uh, let me get this down. Thank you for coming. I'm so glad you came and played. You did your thing. I got thanks, Storm. He sent me some lovely ladies over here. Um, let me go to my cash app. Be sure I have you correctly. Hey, baby. That's I'm talking to my dog in case y'all are wondering. Hi, baby boy. You gotta let mommy finish what she's doing. Let's see. Okay, 10. You are the new proud owner of 10 new dollars. Let me do this and get her name in here. T E N E A. C O. Oh, that's not an N. That is a B. N. T E N E A C O. Okay. If I say T D, does that mean something to you? Um, intellect and beauty. I'm gonna be sure I have the right person. This is a different picture, but okay. Ah, oh, th thank you. I appreciate that. Look, I love it. Okay, I just want to be sure I got you right before I send this T E N E A C O. Okay, I'm just put congratulations on here. Okay, I'm just trying to be sure. Okay, and I'm going to hit pay. Yes, confirm it. That's fine. Send it. Oh, now I got, sorry, I added some extra things because of some stuff that I'm doing now. So I got to confirm my pin. Okay. So I have the check. Let me know if you got it. Uh, -uh No, I was saying T D. Okay. Tell me if you got it. Cause it's gone through from here. It'll be deposited once you complete the payment done. Let me know if you got it. Cause we sent it from this end. I want to be sure she's got it before we move on. And it did deduct it from my little uh, balance here. You got it. You got your money. You got your funds. Y'all want to see Raka? You want to come and say hi? You want to come and say hi while we wait? Come here. Come here. You got it. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's move on to the gift card raffle. I'll show y'all what I got for y'all. Oh, he thinks that this is something for him. Look, I'm going to give you something and you got to beat it, bruh. You got to beat it. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Look. Oh, look what I have. I have a kolache. You got to come get it. You got to come get it. Oh, he's going to go to his bed. Okay, good. That's what I want him to do. Okay. Here. Hold on, you guys. Let me give them a treat so they'll leave me alone. Get it. Here, Mom. There. Okay. Here we go. 
these are the cards that we are raffling off tonight. $10 and $15. So $15 for my members, $10 for everybody else. We are not doing away with the everybody else cards just because I have members now. Everybody gets a chance to win something. $10 for Sally Beauty Supply. $10 or $15, depending on which one you win. Sally Beauty Supply. You can get you some Kenya Moore hair care. Boop, 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 boop. $10 for Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I don't know how well that's showing up. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A Addiction. Hey, I know. That's right, girl. Get you some good old Christian chicken. Okay. Um, let's see here. $10 for... Is that all right? Is there anything else in here? That's not in there very securely. Okay. Starbucks. They have their little holiday gift thing, so it's a lot of green. Clash on my green screen. $10 or, or $15 for Starbucks. $10 or $15 for Subway. They have a little jacket in their card. So that's Subway. $10 or $15. 10 or $15 for Dollar Tree, one of our very popular cards. We love the tree around here. Um, 10 or $15 for Smoothie King. Mm -hmm. 10 or $15 for Burger King. Yes, come on, spicy, crispy, cr the spicy Christian chicken. The spicy Christian chicken, I love it. $10 for Whataburger. I know my Texas people will know about that. Some of my Florida people and some of my Louisiana people. $10 for, or $15, $10 or $15 for Dunkin' Donuts, depending on which one you win. And finally, last but not least, $10 or $15 for Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Okay, so here's the deal with these gift cards. After we pull our winners, I am typing my email address in the chat, and you have until... I would suggest you just email me immediately with your mailing address. And um, but you have until this coming Saturday, this coming Saturday, eight o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time to send me your mailing address. If you don't send me your mailing address before I go to the post office to mail these on Saturday, you lose your card. That's just how it's got to be now. And that's anybody. So those are the cards. So now I'm going to open my name of wheels and share that with you all. Um, give me just a moment and I will give you all the instructions on how you can win one of these gift cards. Let me get rid of this and let me do this. I'm going to share my screen. Oh, I put my phone up. I need this. Share my window for wheel of names. Okay. So that's up there. Let me get this going. So that I can watch what's happening here. We have some major lag. Okay, here we go. So all of my channel members, the people with the badges by their name who pay for uh, viewing this channel. At this time, if you will type the word money in the chat right now, just my paying channel members, type the word money in the chat. Um, we are going to do your drawing first, and then your names will stay here because you're going to be a part of both drawings. Okay, so I'm adding the names to the wheel. Whitney, let me capitalize that. Whitney Castillo. And I have Lisa Price. And this wheel has been so good to Lisa. I just can't, y'all, y'all seen her win time after time. Uh, Roxy. W, American Copperhead. I'm just going to spell it all out because I hate remembering which letters to leave out. <laughs> okay, Lady B. I'm going to just spell it correctly. You don't mind. We know who you are. Um, only my members right now. Everybody else is going to get a chance. If you're a paying member to my channel, um, Country Mama. And then everybody else will get a chance after we do this drawing. Y'all can join in the next one. And y'all gonna have a different word to type in the chat. And my members, when we do the next one, you won't have to type anything because your names are already in here. So let me be sure I have you all who are in here. I have Whitney, I have Lisa Price, I have Roxy W, I have Lady B, I have Country Mama. Okay, let me just do a quick countdown. Any other members that I miss, then please go on and type it now. I'm counting down from 10 
And then if you don't make it in this countdown, you're going to have to do the drawing with everybody else. Any other members, type the word money right now. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, just my channel members right now. Everybody else will get your chance next. The people who pay a subscription to my channel. So that's everybody. Everybody else, I'll give you all a chance next after we do this drawing, and y'all going to have a different word. So here we go. First spin of the night. Which member is going to win? Let's see. All right, Lady D, it's all on you. Congratulations, congratulations. So which card would you like, my dear? 15 big ones. Congratulations, Lady B. Which card, my dear, which card do you want? Lady B, let me get these out again. And y'all just hang tight because everybody else is going to have a chance. I'm looking for Lady B. You want it. Tropical Smoothie Cafe, $15. $15 for Starbucks. $15 for Subway. $15 for Dollar Tree. $15 for Smoothie King. $15 for Burger King. $15 for Whataburger. $15 for Dunkin' Donuts. $15 for Sally Beauty Supply, where you can get you some Kenya Moore hair care. What do you want? Come here, Andy. You want to say hi? Come here. You can say hi, then you got to go. You got to go because I'm working. Look. Say, hey, y'all. Are y'all doing some stuff? Because I want to eat dinner and go to sleep. Okay, now you go away. I'll talk to you later. Did she already reply? Lady B, where are you, Lady B? What you want, girl? Okay, go away, Indy. Go to your bed. I'm not going to baby you. Yes, y'all, that's my little doggy. That's my little girl. My big boy didn't want to come and say hi. Have I missed her response? If y'all saw her, put it put it again for me. I, I don't see it. So we can get on. Oh, Duncan. Okay, yeah, I did miss it. Duncan. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Lady B. She gets the Duncan. So just to keep confusion down... I'm gonna throw that out, even though we have a ten and a fifteen. I don't want, uh, I don't want to get anything confused. Yeah, I was looking at Indy while oh, she was telling me Duncan. Okay, Lady B, I know you have my email address, but I'm gonna type it in the chat anyway, just to go through the procedure. If you will, please send me the uh, uh, email me. I don't need your mailing address. Just email me the gift card you want and the amount. And now. Um, Y'all know the gift cards, so we have everything left for uh, the $10 gift cards as well. Everything is left except for Duncan. So if any of these gift cards interest you and you would like a chance to win one of these gift cards and you don't mind giving me your mailing address, um, then let me get myself set up and I'll give you your word to type in the stream right now. I'm sharing the screen. I'm sharing the tab with the wheel of names. So what you're going to see happen is that I'm just going to close this page. I'm not going to remove Lady B because that is another perk of membership. Um, the members get to do the drawing twice. So all of these names will remain. And I will add the names of everyone who right now, if you are interested, type the word black. Type the word black right now in the chat if you would like a chance to win a $10 gift card to one of these places. Gabriel. Neca. M Y. E two six. I'm not my two six. I'm not sure. Carol and Ben. Lord. Ben. Lord. Come on, Ty. 
I'm tired. Okay, you know what? I y'all are I feel pressure because y'all are watching me. I'll put I'll put it back up here when I finish typing your names. There's a lot of names. Stop sharing. Uh let me just get your names in here. Carolyn Ben. Return of Lamat. That's one thing I, I do like literally have a thing where I hate people being over me when I'm typing. All of a sudden I can't type anymore. So maybe it translates to YouTube as well. <laughs> okay, return of Lamat. Nicole. Nicole. Amarfi. I'm saying Amarfi. If I'm saying that wrong, let me know. Amarfi. Brenda Holiday. And 112DZ. And Kylie and Bernie S. Bernie S is one too. Okay, I'm right. It's, it's our a Marby. Okay, let me see if I got any more people. Let me call you all out and let me know if I miss your name. So I have Whitney Castillo, Lisa Price, Roxy W, American Copperhead, Lady B, and Country Mama, my members. And then I started with Gabriel Escobosa. And then I have NECA Young. And I'm saying my 26, but if, I, if I'm saying that wrong, you let me know that as well. And then I have Carolyn Ben. And then I have Return of Lamac. And then I have Carolyn ben, Nicole Amarfi. And then I have Brenda Holiday. And then I have 112 DZ. And then I have Kylie. Oh. 112 DC, Kylie, and then Bernie S. Yeah, that's right. Okay, any other people? I'm going to count down from 10. And if you are not, if, if you want to be on this wheel for a chance to win a gift card, a $10 gift card, type the word black in the stream if you haven't already. I'm counting down from 10, then I'm spinning the wheel, and we'll do this again week after next because I am off every first Sunday of the month from live streaming, in case you're new here. Um, okay, 10. Nine, eight. Oh, hold on. I got a new one. Sylvia, the playwright. Okay. Just in time, Sylvia. 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 The playwright. Okay. Another check. All right, I got all my members. Y'all are good. Gabrielle Neca, my E26, Carolyn Ben, Return of Lamac, Nicola Marfi, Brenda Holiday, 112 DC, Kylie, yes, Bernie S, and Sylvia the Playwright. All right, one more time, I'm gonna ask because I hate, I just hate for somebody to come and like, you know, because it's happened so many times, but ain't nothing I can do about it. If you would like a chance to win one of these remaining $10 gift cards and you don't mind giving your mailing address, type the word black if I have not said your name. I'm counting down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, with that, I think that it's safe for me to give a wheel a spin. Are we good? Are we good? Are we excellent? Are we wonderful? Oh, all right. Mm, okay. Let me share the screen so y'all can see the wheel do its thing. Uh, oh, there. Share the screen. And Chrome tab. Wheel of names. Name picker. And here we go. Oh, wow. I thought it was going to be Lisa again. Congratulations, Roxy. Congratulations, Roxy. So which 
card? Wouldn't you? If, if that thing picked Lisa, I was going to say, Lisa, you are a hacker because that thing always picks her. Okay. So congratulations, Roxy. $10 for Whataburger, my dear. Um, Burger King, $10 for Smoothie King, $10 for Dollar Tree, $10 for Subway, $10 for Starbucks, $10 for Tropical Cafe, $10 for Sally Beauty Supply, where you can get you some Kenya Moore hair care. Which one would you like? Which one would you like, Roxy? That's cra I thought it was about to pick Lisa again. I really did. Um, I'm waiting on Roxy. And I see congratulations all around. We don't have any hateration up in this dancery. I love it. Oh, okay. She had to get her, her acceptance speech ready. She'd like to thank God first. Okay. And Ty and her chat family. She wants the Smoothie King. Let me take the Smoothie King out. Okay. Smoothie King. Boom. $10 for Roxy Smoothie King. That is going to you. I love the acceptance speech. Always got to put the Lord first. Um, uh, you already have my email address, I know, but I am putting my um, email address in here again. And y'all, just that easy. And this, I think, is probably the second time that I've had two members win it. <laughs> um, you know, the members, uh, the members spin and the the public spin. So anyway, um, looks like it pays to be a member. And y'all see, I can't rig the wheel, so. It is what it is. I really thought it was going to be. <laughs> yes, come through with the acceptance speech and the bang. The bang. Uh -oh. <laughs> y'all crazy. Um, y'all, another good night. And we're at two hours and 15 minutes. So I think that I'm going to just start doing two topics uh, for uh, Sunday Funday. And that'll give me like a chance to kind of space out things and talk to you all throughout uh, out the week on different things. So go on and enjoy Real Housewives of Potomac. I'm going to watch that. And then we'll be here with Mr. Chalaki tomorrow for a Real Housewives of Potomac talk. I'll put the times in my community tab. So please get in the habit of checking the community tab. Um, Return of Flamac. She signed in with her channel earlier by mistake. Her um, Girl Good Night channel. I'm sure that by now her newest episode is up. So if you need some help getting to sleep and you want to support a person who supports this channel, go to Return of Lamac, Girl Good Night for a bedtime story that will help you fall asleep. She has a beautiful, uh, very peaceful sounding voice. Um, what else on Tuesday? I don't have anything planned for the channel on Wednesday. That's members only stream. Thank you again, my new members for coming every, I mean, uh, membership is new to me, but we just got two new members yesterday. So thank y'all for being there. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming up, but one thing y'all do have coming up is your, your own private stream with Orange Juice Jones. Orange Juice Jones will be on the channel for all of us on this Thursday and every other Thursday um, for a show called a Love Jones with Orange Juice Jones. If y'all have any, um, relationship problems that y'all want Orange Juice Jones to solve for you. Email me if one of my uh, moderators will please put my email in the link. Email me and tell me what your dilemma is. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship situation. It could be a situation with your coworkers, your children, whatever. Um, he's a father. He's a husband. He's not still singing, I saw you and him walking in the rain. He's not still like on the corner, you know, in that apartment, whatever. He's doing different things now. And so um, he has a different perspective on life. And so you might want to email him your dilemmas. And if you want to remain anonymous when we read the letter, just put that in your email. If you want to not remain anonymous, say that and I'll say who, or if you want to go by a different name, just tell me the name you want to be called at the end of your dilemma and we'll get those letters done. And then I'm going to like pull some things from social media, uh, relationship related stuff from social media for us to talk about. He'll give his take. I'll give mine and y'all can call in and give your takes on it. Um, and if you have like your own, whatever issue you want to talk about, you just want to call and talk to him. He's going to be available for that every other Thursday uh, for an hour, I believe at six o'clock p, uh, p six o'clock PM central standard time. Uh, so we have, uh, that coming for everybody, but members only, you will get your own uh, 
private time with him. So be looking at the members community tab and everybody just always look at the community tab because that's where I'm posting what I'm going to do, what I have coming for y'all, especially members, you get your perks. If you have not, um, if you are on my upper level tiers and you haven't given me your mailing address, give me your mailing address so that I can get your hair uh, products out to you tomorrow. Uh, your perks for November, do that for me. What else? Um, Thursday, again, Orange Juice Jones is here. Friday, I don't think I have anything planned. I'm going to be working on getting some more co-hosts to come in, um, but I'll be just, you know, trying to crank out and I'm working on another old school story. I'm always working on an old school story. Usually it just starts with the research, but yes, uh, you are right, Lady B. We are alternating Orange Juice Jones and Jay to come and talk to the ladies about love, you know? So we'll see how that goes, but um, he's excited about meeting y'all. And I know we've got people excited about seeing him and I'm excited about doing it. Uh, he's been really cool, really great about everything. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, and members who are um, interested in Aletheia's, um, in Aletheia's foreign trading, we're going to do another stream for that, for the ones of you who missed it. I know we had some people who didn't get to come to the first one and we got new people who are here who weren't members when we did the first time. So we will set up a new one of those. And um, we're going to get up on this foreign trading and get some money in our pockets. So we're not just in there, you know, talking about, I mean, we, we get some serious discussions, but we're never getting this money together. So that's that for that. Um, I don't have anything else. I don't think. Um, always feel free to email me. I put that email address in there for, you know, people who win, people who got something going on. But if you just want to email me and say, hey, Ty, there's, you know, a topic that I think that would be um, a good one for you to discuss or whatever. I always take suggestions. I'm going to be taking them more. I'm going to be streaming more. And um, uh, let's see. Oh, the episode is up. Okay. Okay. The episode is up already. Uh, Return of Max says. Um, and y'all, that's all I got. Unless y'all got something for me, I'm going to log off. I did catch up on a little bit of sleep. For those of y'all who were with me yesterday, y'all know that I was up for over 24 hours straight. And um, but I'm a little bit rested. I still got ways to go to totally catch up, but it's all good. Um, I appreciate you all. And I want y'all to have a fantabulous week. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for keeping it a nice and civil conversation. Uh, thank you moderators for moderating. I love my mod squad. Um, and I'm going to be doing more for y'all. Just, you know, let me get the channel up. Uh, please uh, it, uh, share my content. If you like my old school videos, if you like any of stuff, if you like the live stream and you're on it, tweet it, share with people, bring people here. That helps me a lot. Um, you know, comment, thumbs up. Uh, Brenda, I appreciate what you do. Every time I finish streaming, you still go back and leave a comment. Those kinds of things help me. I don't, I will never sit up and ask you for your money, but I will ask you all to comment, to leave a thumbs up, to share my content. That's all. And that helps me in a way you'll never understand. So I do appreciate y'all. Thank you everybody for coming. Y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Have a wonderful and productive week. And I'll be seeing you throughout this week. We're going to get through these Corona times and all these times together. And I just love you all. Whitney, thank you. Yeah, people who called in, thank you for calling in. Thank y'all for giving me a thumbs up on the stream. Thank y'all for staying and playing the games, like all that stuff, and participating in the raffle. All of that means something to me. I appreciate you. And congratulations again to the winners. Intellect and Beauty, first time player, first time winner. How you doing that there? Congratulate. Oh, there she goes. Have a fabulous week. Thank you. Thank you. You have a fabulous week too. I appreciate you all. Um, what else? Yeah. And our gift card winners, Lady B and it was Lady B and Roxy, right? The, I think, yeah. Whoever won, you know you won. You better email me so I know you won. You got until Saturday, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time, a.m. All right, so that I can go to the post office and get you your stuff out. Thank you, Deborah. I didn't even know you were in here. Thank you. Um, I appreciate it. I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow for Real Housewives of Potomac Talk with Mr. Shalaki, hopefully at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. But I'm going to get with him and see what's convenient for him. Let's see what's working out for me by then. Thank you, Gabrielle. Let's go. I appreciate you coming here just so I can say your name. Say your name. Say your name. Whitney, so pretty. I have beautiful women on this channel like if I were a straight man, this is the place that I would want to be. And I'd want to be here pretending like I had some sense and not being dusty because <sighs> it's a lot of pretty women here. All right. Beautiful people. Y'all have yourselves a good night. 
shower the people you love with love, check on your strong friends. You never know what people are going through. And with that, I'm going to close. I love y'all. Um, huh? Was cooking? Oh, you was cooking and looking. Girl, you didn't even come and type your name for the uh for the freaking um raffle. I want you to get your perks. I didn't know you were watching the whole time. Uh yes, shout out to Eric. Uh Indy says, see y'all later. She's like, are you gonna, did you say you're coming to feed me now? I'm feeding, I always feed them late on Sundays because I don't like to feed them before the stream. So uh, I'm gonna feed you. You're gonna get some food. You're gonna be so happy. Now go away from me. Okay, here we go, y'all. I'm counting down from 10. Y'all have yourselves a good night. I love y'all. Peace out. See you tomorrow. Brenda said, aw, Andy, because she thinks that you're sweet and cute. She doesn't know how, how clingy you are. All right. Good night, y'all. 10, 9, <laughs> the rest of it dusty. We have much worse, Wendy. Uh, I'm sorry, Whitney. Whitney, we have much worse. He, I can't even call him the resident dusty. We've had worse. We have. Anyway, good night. 10, 9. Yeah, he's breaking on it. Praise God. Oh, okay. Oh, look, look, just just come and be here sharing, share my content. I, like I said, I'm never going to ask y'all for anything, but I do appreciate y'all being here. I do appreciate you. God, yes, please come tomorrow and support. That's, that's all the support we need. Come and watch, share the videos. Like, yo, this girl dope. Hey, my Facebook friends, y'all come over here and see this girl. That's that, that helps me tremendously. All right. Thank you, Sharon. I appreciate you. But yeah, I'm hoping six o'clock PM Central Standard Time, but watch my community page. Like I got so much community tab. I have everything that's going on here is going on. You know, members, y'all better watch it because y'all gonna miss y'all stuff. Y'all paying. I want you to get your stuff. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good night, y'all. You want to say good night? You want to come get on me now? Now you just want to stare at me. She's just staring at me. Anyway, holler y'all. Good night, everybody.